Contact. Southeast Coast Ambulance Service is changing to provide even better care for patients. Every year the service responds to over half a million calls. These range from life-threatening conditions like heart attacks and serious injuries to patients who have long-term health problems and more minor ailments. Ambulance staff are developing new skills and using the latest technology to make a difference and save lives. Okay, the ambulance service is changing because our demand is changing. We deal with about half a million calls a year. Within those calls, there are a few people who are seriously ill and injured, and we need to spot those people early and take them to hospitals that can deal with their condition, which is not uh, usually the closest hospital, and we've developed the critical care paramedic to do that. At the other end of the spectrum, we've got patients who are less seriously ill and injured for whom convenience is important, and we've developed paramedic practitioners to spot those people who don't need to make the journey to hospital and not take them there. Uh, my name's Mark Lilly, I'm a critical care paramedic and I work for the South East Coast Ambulance Service. Uh, the role of a critical care paramedic is to support the ambulance service in delivering uh, pre-hospital care to people who have suffered critical illness and injury, um, like heart attacks, road crashes, so it's not just, just the trauma, but it's lots of people who are actually seriously ill as well. The main advantage of a critical care paramedic coming to the scene is that we will have the ability to stabilise the patient prior to moving you to the most appropriate hospital as opposed to in the old days when we would take you to the nearest A&E. My name's Adam and I work for South East Coast Ambulance Service and I'm a paramedic practitioner. Our role encompasses all the normal ambulance emergency work along with we take referrals from ambulance crews which can lead on to a full patient assessment at home, uh, wound management such as suturing and glue and also we may do a urine test to see if there is an infection which can lead on to us organising antibiotics for the patient. The paramedic practitioner role brings many advantages to patient care. In many cases we can keep a patient at home instead of them maybe attending an A&E department and also especially for elderly patients being at home is a much more comfortable environment. I joined the ambulance service in 2001 and whilst it was clear there were lots and lots of good people working within the trust it was also immediately clear that things needed to change quite significantly. We actually needed to listen to the clinicians on the road and listen to how we can develop our practice and improve patient care and that's something that we're doing in a number of ways. We've seen improvements in terms of pre-hospital cardiac arrest survival ranging from the very low percents into the tens, twenties and thirty percents uh, having introduced these new measures. This is what we're about, that's the type of thing we want to do and we're always keen uh, and enthusiastic at looking at ways in which we can improve patient care uh, uh, and deliver a better service to patients. We're also striving to deliver world-class outcomes from key conditions like cardiac arrest with huge success locally. If you look at just from Brighton Hospital we've seen a 500% increase in survival from out-of-hospital cardiac arrest and that's by using new techniques, Protocol C, which is a new way of resuscitating patients, which all of our staff are now trained in, as well as other techniques such as lay responders who get to the patient quickly uh, and defibrillate them and initiate treatment. My name is Derek. I'm one of the community responders for the Hurst Pierpoint Community Responder Group. As a community responder, you're asked by Ambulance Control to primarily attend Category A incidents. These are anything from patients with chest pain, sometimes cardiac arrest, asthma, breathing difficulties, epileptics, and also as well diabetics. Anyone can become a community responder. The training is very comprehensive with regular updates throughout the year. The main focus is on the use of an automatic defibrillator and other life-saving skills. I enjoy being a community responder because it means I can give something back to my local community. For me, going out there and helping to save people's lives makes it very, very worthwhile. What people are beginning to understand more and more is that actually many of the big killers in the Western world are pre-hospital problems. They're ambulance service problems to resolve. You don't go to hospital to die of your cardiac arrest. It happens in the home. So therefore, the soonest we can get there and, and initiate treatment, the better.